A long stretch of the steamboat ditch is up for major changes. The 140-year-old ditch runs all across our area and is normally used for irrigation. A grant money has already been set aside for changes and officials are trying to figure out what to do with it. But some locals are hoping to stop the project. Jefferson Tyler shows us why. The steamboat ditch runs directly behind my behind my job. So I walk along the ditch. I have my lunch along the ditch. You know, it's it's a part of my life as well, personally. Brett Banks is one of many who enjoy the natural splendor of the steamboat ditch, which runs from South Reno to Verda. The waterway was created to provide irrigation back in 1880. And 115 men worked in that ditch, hand building it for, you know, four to five years of their life. And they deserve that recognition. Problem is that the ditch has some issues. The Washoe County Water Conservation District and the USDA Natural Resources Conservation Service want to fix. There is uh, fairly frequent flooding events uh, in the area. So changes are being considered. In similar projects, um, could be piping some sections, could be not piping others. We could line ditches. That could either be concrete lining, different types of lining. Um, leaving sections of it alone, um, piping a portion and using the ditches, stormwater. Some people are concerned that work could affect the natural beauty of the area. People that love to bike on it and walk on it and use it for recreational activity and understand that there's more, there's more value to it than just um, being outdoors. The USDA says they are taking these things into consideration and asking for public input. A group of 100-year-old trees, we want to know where they are um, so we can mitigate those aspects. Officials say that the earliest work could begin would be in a year and a half. Covering the story, Jefferson Tyler, 2 News. Now, the Natural Resources Conservation Service is still taking comments from the public right now, so you can email those to truckyriver at nvwatershed.com with your comments.